everybody. Welcome back to Alpha Bites. Today we are going to visit with the letter S. As always, we're going to draw a letter S in an upper and a lower case using the card or the letter on the screen. Making the letter S is fun. It's kind of the shape of a swirly snake. You're going to start here and go up and make a half a circle and go around and make another half a circle in the other direction. And for the lower case, you're going to do it the exact same way, just a little smaller one. To make the letter S using American Sign Language, you're going to bring up your hand and make a fist. Take your top two fingers and make them a little bit higher than the other one, so it's not like an even fist. You have your top two up, and then you're going to bring your thumb in. To help me today with the letter S is my friend, the spider. <sighs> Spiders have eight legs. Let's make sure he is a spider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, eight legs. He's a spider, all right. He's going to help us sing a song called the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Let's sing the nursery rhyme Itsy Bitsy Spider together. There are several ways of doing this. To make the spider, you can take your hands and you can take your thumb and match your finger on the other hand and then move your hands up and match that thumb and finger and just keep doing this cycle all the way up. Sometimes that's a little difficult for young children so there's modifications. You can take your hand and you could have the spider crawl up your arm like this or they could just crawl up the sprout like this. So let's sing together. The itsy bitsy spider ran up the water spout down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and it dried up all the rain. The itsy bitsy spider crawled up the spout again. One reason I wanted to do this particular song was because I personally have a very hard time doing that finger play. It's very good for developing fine motor skills in left and right, um, you know, using your left and right brain. I just have a really hard time with it. So I wanted to show that you can modify finger plays in songs and nursery rhymes. They've been around forever, but that doesn't mean that they're like set in stone. You can change them to make them work with you and your child. Um, the, thing, the main thing is to have fun with them. And when we talk to children about factual information, we're teaching them something that literacy specialists call background knowledge. And it's kind of the understanding they're learning about how the world works around them. And the more they know this background now, knowledge, the better it's going to be when they start reading. They're going to have much better reading comprehension and be able to understand stories. So Itsy Bitsy Spider may seem like just a silly little nursery rhyme that's been around forever, but think about it. It's teaching them about the water cycle. Um, the rain comes down, and then the sun comes up, and it evaporates the rain, and it goes back up, and then it's going to come down again, just like the little Itsy Bitsy Spider. He's going to persevere. He's going to climb back up that spout. Even though he keeps getting washed down, he's going to keep climbing back up. So have fun with these so stories and songs, and don't be afraid to modify them to do whatever works best for your family. So our next letter is letter T. See you then. Mm -hmm.